Hello everyone, welcome to Brimitech. In this video training, I'm just going to create a virtual host on my Windows 10 machine using XAMPP server. So, firstly, uh, I have already installed XAMPP server on my Windows 10 machine. If you haven't installed XAMPP server, please install it. I have created a video earlier and I also provided the video link in the description on how to install XAMPP server on Windows 10 okay i'm just going to hit this jam control panel i'm just going to start up a c and my sql i have already created a project in the stdocs folder just going to access it through this explorer button here stdocs folder and here is the project limited but the in this video i will just create a virtual host for this project okay let's see how I just access this folder currently okay just here I'm on Google Chrome browser every time I need to add localhost slash remitted to access this test site but I want to type remitted dot tarts okay it's pretty simple and easy to use I won't have to use localhost okay in this video I'll just manage this server just to use this link i have installed xamp server in the c drive here it is and here goes it i'll just going inside this folder and i'll look for apache here it is and i'll look for config and here it is i'll look for extra here it is and here goes the file i will edit stpdt vhost.config i'm just going to open this file using notepad plus plus and here i will add some configuration command okay uh, as you can see already it has provided sample commands to create virtual host but i will just paste here some of my codes okay here goes that okay here goes it and as you can see i used port 80 and here is the document root i mean uh, the current project root c xamp stdox and primitive here it is i just provided here localhost xamp stdox primitive and the server name I just want brimitech dot tarts as I showed earlier brimitech dot tarts okay and directory is the same as document directory here goes it and I'm going to save this file okay and the first step is done and I have another two step and second step uh, I will have to access host file but I can do it two ways just uh, open run uh, search run here and I will just copy this command and paste here already it has here as you can see and hit ok if I hit ok then host file will open up with notepad plus plus hit ok and i'm just going to open with notepad plus plus if you can't do that yourself you will have to manually go to the host file so i'm now i'm just going to show you how to manually go to this host file let's see the drives the c drive and look for windows and system 32 and drivers then etc and here goes the host file okay and you will have to edit this file as an administrator of your computer okay thus open with notepad plus plus and here it is here i will just add this code here I will just add this command 
code okay it is the local ip and i want to the local ip to reject using this domain name grimitech.tars okay just hit this button to save it on notepad plus plus text editor hit save and it asks me to open notepad plus plus as an administrator users hit yes yes it just opened again as an administrator as you can see it's administrator just save this button now i will have to restart apache okay now i'm just going to reload this page and it works okay now here goes all of this and if you want to access PHP my admin then you will have to type localhost slash PHP my admin hit enter okay here goes the PHP my admin interface and you can create any database here test db tag db just hit create so we followed several steps firstly added this code command on stpdt virtual host stpdt hyphen vhost dot config file and then edited the host file okay and restart apache and i just will i will just provide this code in the comment box or i will provide a link to download so that was all about how to create a virtual host on windows 10 using jam server hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel thank you